Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got us a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and get to it. What is our subject for today? Our subject for today is selling truth. Don't lose your soul over a few dollars. What do you say? Selling. Don't lose your soul over a few dollars. And that means a lot of dollars too. You don't want to be a person who's a salesperson that takes advantage of people. And it's a strange subject, but you know what? You know, I've been in sales in one form or capacity since the 80s. And I have done some things when I first got into sales that were not the best thing for the customer. And it definitely wasn't the best thing for me. I used to look at customers being the mighty dollar. And now, as an older salesperson over the long haul, I've learned that customers want to invest in stuff. They want to buy stuff, but they need somebody who's honest and somebody who can have a simple selling conversation with them. Most people don't even know about selling conversations. They just think you're talking and you're asking questions. But back when I first started in sales, man, I'd be all over the place. I'd be asking for the order and I'd be selling stuff, <clears throat> but I didn't know what I was doing. And I'll tell you, I probably could have made a lot more sales. And I looked at people, like I said, like a dollar bill. That's not right, guys. You got to remember, we're in sales to make money. We're also in sales to make friends, uh, meet people, have opportunities for future sales. And if you look at people as though they're a dollar bill and you're in for it just for the money, yeah, you'll make some money, but you may lose your soul in the process. Now, you may not even believe in no God. That's all right. You don't got to believe. But you got to ask yourself, do you want people to buy from you again? Do you want more referrals? Do you want people to say, hey, that guy's a real good guy. You might want to call him. Because I'll tell you what, you can make some real money off of referrals if people trust you. But if they don't, they may, may end up canceling the order that you had for them. Or they may just say some bad things about you behind your back. Now, I've seen it. I've had customers tell me, ah, don't let that guy come back out here. I'll buy from you, but I won't buy for that guy because I don't trust him. Well, because you know why? They may have had what they call salesman's breath. They were real desperate. They had to make a sale. And customers, they catch that stuff. They know what's going on. People today ain't stupid, folks. We are salespeople. We work on commission. So, you know, sometimes we can get a little bit greedy, baby. And it's okay to have a little bit of greed, but if it takes advantage of people and you're selling your soul for money, it ain't going to work, honey, because we all going to die. And I don't want to go someplace where it's really hot because it's hot here in Florida. <laughs> and if it's any hotter, I don't want to go. And I know it sounds funny and I'm just joking and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, I've seen people actually lie to customers, <sighs> treat them disrespectfully, talk bad about them behind their back and how they got over on the customer. Now, that's why we have so many people reluctant to buy from us these days. Salespeople, we got the bad rap. And that's because unscrupulous people do unscrupulous things. And if you're a person who's trying to be a successful salesperson for the long haul, you got to be an honest salesperson. Because to thine own self be true. You have to be a person who can have conversations. You have to have high energy. You have to be have integrity. You have to like yourself. And you have to be a person who cares about what happens to customers. I always give out my cell phone number. I know it sounds strange that I text my customers. I do faith. Uh, I let them take pictures of me so that way they know who I am so they'll feel more secure. I do selfies with them. I send them texts when I got new products and new ideas and information I want to share with them. I always do these things. And, and the reason why is because I want them to trust me. Because, see, a lot of salespeople don't want you to have their personal cell number. And the reason be is because they're afraid that you might cancel the order or complain about a product. I had a great manager not too many, many, many years ago told me, he said, Gary, you know, if people have issues with their services, you'd be the one they want to talk to because you'll be able to help them communicate and be able to get with the people to get the service taken care of. And it may not be your fault because sometimes people drop the ball when it comes to, to their products and services and things of this nature. But if you're an honest salesperson and you ain't trying to sell your soul for a few dollars, 
you'll be able to make more and more money. It, it, Zig Ziglar used to say, the more people you help, you're guaranteed to make more money, honey. That's just the way it is. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and a lot of stuff that sales people talk about to themselves, but they don't hear much about. And that's what my platform is all about. So, you know, I just wanted you to feel comfortable knowing that you're important and you matter. But remember, you got to look in the mirror every day. And if you knowingly take advantage of customers, you know it, eventually it's going to catch up with you. They call that karma. And karma can be a real B. You know what I'm talking about? Not a B with a good B, but a B with a very bad taste in your mouth. And sometimes if you have this type of personality where you're all about the money, you can end up doing something wrong and go to jail. Okay? And I'm telling you, if you mess with people's money, honey, they may not, you might do something right with one customer, but if you do something wrong, they got the Facebook, they got the internet, they got the YouTube, they got all these different platforms where they can complain about you and what you did to them. That's scary, right? And I'm telling you what, we, our, our name is our brand. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy, and my brand is to be the kind of guy that people want to invest in, buy from, and I can help people. Don't you want to be that person too? I know you do. We sells people. We got to make some money, honey. And if you're out there trying to sell something and you're just living for the mighty dollar today, that's okay. But eventually, if you lose that money, you'll be like, dang, what have I done? What am I doing? Can I change? Because if you got a heart, you're going to take care of your customers. You know, sometimes you may feel that you can fib or say a lie or, or manipulate a customer and do things wrong. It'll eventually catch up with you. You know, our title for today is selling and the fear, no, excuse me, selling don't uh, lose your soul for a few dollars. You don't want to lose your soul for a few dollars. And I don't care if it's a million or a billion dollars. <sighs> Everybody is going to meet their maker one day, even if you don't believe in it. We're going to pass away. And do you want to leave a legacy of people saying, he was a terrible person, what a miser. They cheated me. They took advantage of me. And believe me, you don't want to be that person. <laughs> like I said, when I first got into sales, oh my gosh, I'll tell you what, I used to love going door to door. I was making so much money hand over fist. And don't forget to pay your taxes, by the way, guys. I was making so much money, but then I looked in the mirror and I had to figure out that, hey, maybe I should have been a little bit nicer. I've always been nice, but like I said, when I was younger, I manipulated things and sometimes I stretched the truth. That's the honest to truth. You know, I'm an honest person. I like to do the right next thing. I ain't saying I'm perfect, you know, but my God is looking out for me. He makes sure that, hey, do you remember what you just said? Did you say, are you getting ready to say something you shouldn't say? <sighs> don't do it. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley and our total subject for today is selling and don't sell your soul for a few dollars. I know it's a funny subject and it sounds kind of strange, but really guys, you know, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you make a bad call, you cheat people, and then you end up in jail. Because believe it or not, if you're in the financial sector, they do background checks on you. If you want to sell big products and stuff that makes a lot of money, they're going to do a lot of background checks on you, and they're going to make sure that you are a person of good ethics. Now, in the past, we had people that were cheating people, taking advantage of people. And I'm going to tell you what, you do that, and you will eventually lose your job, your opportunities, and you may end up in a place that you don't want to be. Oh! <laughs> it ain't funny. Oh, no, it ain't funny. You know, my subject for today is selling and dealing in sales and losing your soul over a few dollars. I can't be any more, more better than that. That's as good as I can get it. Selling is important. We matter. And do yourself a favor. Go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. And remember, our subject for today is selling. Don't sell your soul for a few dollars and that could be billions of dollars millions of dollars nobody wants to get taken advantage of everybody wants to have good service they want to be treated right they want to buy stuff they want to own stuff so let's be above board let's be enthusiastic let's be nice let's do the right next thing and let's help our customers get something and we can make a lot of money, honey. <laughs> we don't got to sell our soul for a few dollars. It's a numbers game. So when you're out there selling, remember, 
Don't take advantage of people because karma is a B. And it sucks, baby. <laughs> Murphy's Law will knock you down. You better be careful and do the right thing. So go out there and sell something. My name is Gary, Lee Stanley, your sales guy. We just had a really great subject about selling. And what was it? Selling and don't lose your soul over a few dollars. Hmm. It ain't worth it. It just ain't worth it. So go out there and sell something. Fist bump. You can do it. I got you back. All right.